going to talk about designing filters with filter solutions and exporting them into the Modelithics AWR design environment. We will start with a five-pole elliptic filter in a minimum inductor zigzag topology. We count four inductors to achieve our five poles. Over here we can see the stop band of 40 dB and the pass band of 20 dB S11. To export, we pull up the export AWR export panel, select Modelithics CLR database, and if I need to, I can load in the Modelithics models directly from AWR with the use of this button. However, I have them preloaded, and I can very easily select whatever manufacturer and model number I wish for the inductors, the capacitors, and the substrates. When ready to export, simply say append or overwrite to AWR. We'll say overwrite. And here is AWR here. And here is the filter that we just created. Zoom in. We see the capacitors, the model that we've selected. We have here an inductor, the model we have selected. And here we have the values, inductors and capacitors to the nearest monolithics standard part value, and in this case units of nanohenries and picofarads. And here is the substrate that we selected. And of course we have the extract block so we can easily extract into a EM enclosure using Axiom, Sonnet, or one of the others of your choosing. We can simulate. And now here we see the error due to the real monolithics parts as well as the interconnections. Interconnections being the bends, emlins, etc. Here is the layout. And here we can see the parts with the interconnects. To get the optimal performance inside the S21 goals and the S11 goals, call up AWR's optimizer and say start. We let this run. And eventually we get this nice trace that very accurately meets our design requirements. But now you can see another problem. Now we'll zoom in. We have optimized the widths of the interconnects, the lengths of the interconnects, the capacitors, and the inductors. The capacitors and inductors are no longer standard model lithics parts. The way we correct that situation, once we are done, we simply say update schematic to nearest model lithic parts value. And look what happens. Our capacitors and inductors are now all updated to the nearest monolithic parts value and their optimization and tuning capability has been turned off. Now that will permit us to do another optimization using just the interconnect widths and links. Uh, it's very difficult to see here, but there has been a little bit of degradation in the performance trace. And the way we will correct for that is we will do a second optimization. 
and wait. When we are finished with the second optimization, we now have a very nice trace that meets our design requirements very nicely and has been constructed using monolithic parts that we see here in the layout with a layout that is physically realizable. If we wish to extract this layout into an EM enclosure, simply say Add Extraction, pick a EM tool that we wish to use. In this case, I will pick Axiom. And here is our layout in the Axiom EM enclosure. Thank you, and I hope you found this interesting.